You look, we need like a couple more girls to get on our team for the girls flag challenge. It's gonna be like right before the championship game, you know, just to get out of the house with girls have fun, you know, just to mix it up. We also have a Pro Bowl challenge for the kids, so ages five and 13 can do like uh, one hand catches and do the uh, softball, I softball, but uh, thing when they throw the balls. And a dodgeball is a dodgeball uh, tournament, so you know, something like that just to mix it up in between the games. Well, next year, when I go to the gym a little bit, I'll come and do the game. Oh, yeah, but next, not, not this year. Next year, we're going to be even you know, bigger and better. We may have a girl actually teamed into the tournament. You know, yeah, that, would, that would be really, really big. And Whitney as well, Whitney has a really, really big sale coming up for Thanksgiving. Yeah. So let us know about that. She's having a raffle at the moment, so make sure you get yes. those tickets in. Um, so I have flyers here. So I have two flyers, um, I mean two raffles. One is for banana pudding and one is for a cake of your choice. So it's just $3 to enter. The rules of the both of the raffles are, one, you must be following Keeping It Sweet LLC on Instagram. Number two, um, you must tag two friends in the comments. That's the way I keep track of who is entering into the contest. And then three, you can enter as many times as you like. Um, if you want to enter into both, that will be six dollars, three dollars for one, three dollars for the other. The proceeds from this raffle will be going to Turkey Bowl, um, and it's to sponsor a family of four to eat dinner for Thanksgiving. Um, so you can help a family and also get something sweet to eat. Oh yeah, I want to expand on that. Yeah, we do have some initiatives that I forgot to you know talk about. Thank you, though. That was a good transition. Um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, so we have a You Can Feed a Family of Four. Uh, we're part it's a partnership with CBS. Uh, they always do it every year. You pay $75 and you feed a family of four. Um, we also doing touchdown for turkeys. So for every touchdown score in a tournament, uh, you provide a turkey uh, to a family or, you know, to the community. And we pass them out while we're out there. Um, yeah, so that's something we also have at the Turkey Bowl. It's not just you know, fun and just play, you know, we also giving back to the community, you know, showing love to people who are less fortunate than ourselves. Yes, yes. <laughs> for the snaps, yes, but yes. <laughs> okay, okay, so you guys, as you can see, we have some really, really big things coming up in Miami, just off the strength of Thursday, um, not Thursday, November alone. So if you guys are in the area, Next Friday is Media Day at yes. PSA, yes. and next Saturday is the Turkey Bowl yes. at I State Park. Yeah. And if you guys want to taste some of Whitney's cakes or anything, she will be at two locations next Saturday, not one. Yes. She will be at Turkey Bowl, and she will be at the Marcy Peak Pop-Up Shop. Definitely. So you guys want to get any more additional information on that, please make sure you follow Whitney on all social media platforms. Oh, let me get you out. Yeah. Oh, okay. So mine is keeping it sweet, LLC on IG. Um, I'm also having a Thanksgiving bake sale. Um, so here, my menu is here. Uh, we have strawberry crunch cake, <laughs> strawberry crunch cake, key lime cake, red velvet pound cake, sweet potato pie, and then I also um, have banana pudding. If you buy two, you get five dollars off. If you buy three, you get ten dollars off. Um, the link to order is in my bio. If you have any questions, my phone number is up there as well. And you can contact me at any time. The last day I'm taking orders is November 23rd. If I get too many orders before um, November 23rd, 23rd, I will be posting that I'm not taking any more orders. Okay. And you make your banana put without bananas? I do that too. Yeah, I don't like bananas. Yeah, yeah that's a good thing. Yeah, you know, can't, I don't like bananas either. But um, you could definitely follow Turkey Bowl uh, at Turkey Bowl Extra. Uh, I can spell it for people. <laughs> uh, it's Turkey Bowl, T-U-R-K-E-Y-B-O-W. This baby really spelled it. X-T-R-A-B. Because we probably know how to spell extra. They ain't go to Kansas City, so they probably can't spell. Hey, I'm not saying it, but that's the truth. I said it. I said um, it. But yeah, so you can follow us on there on IG. Uh, we have videos uh, from last year, pictures. Uh, all the initiatives, how to sign up for uh, the girls tournament. Uh, also, the link to our website is on there. Um, Okay, that's it. All right, so they, they said a lot for yeah. both of their businesses. So you guys make sure you follow both, make sure you support both, and make sure you come out next Saturday. And if you can't make it next Saturday, make sure you make it to next Friday's event. It's a media day. But as you guys all know, what we're here to talk about, um, I start off each and every episode discussing at the moment, what is your relationship status? Well, I'm saying. You said that very like. Yeah, it's what it is. Are you are you looking? Are you like just chilling right now? Or uh, well, I wrote on Facebook. Um, <laughs> after after Art Basel, then I'm gonna focus on 
everything outside of business and whatnot, try to go and all that kind of good stuff, have some fun. Uh, but right now, like, um, I know I don't have the time. So, oh, like, so you'll cut off the start bathroom? Well, yeah, well, that's when I'm going to start getting out there and trying to figure it out. You know, right now, I'm too, I know I can't provide everything a female would need for me to do, so I'm not going to get into the situation. That, no, so just to let us know for the people that's out here that might be interested, do you have a type or you like <laughs> don't matter? Um, nah, I, I don't feel like I have. I don't feel like I have a preference like with how you look and size. Like it's all mental with me. Like, like you say, I do a lot, so it's just they gotta like, understand it. Got mm-hmm. communication, you no know, trust, all that type of stuff. Got to be involved with some things I'm involved with. So uh, yeah, I don't really have a preference. Like you know, smart. Typical women stuff, man. No, look good. Know how to dress. Uh, I'm ugly, so my girlfriend definitely got to look good. Uh, know how to dress. Uh, smart, you know, intellectual. You know how to have a conversation. You know how to be smart. You know how to have a conversation. Yeah, you know. a conversation. Yeah, know how to have a conversation. I just, you know, what's going on on social media. Like, I like aliens and weird shit, so. You definitely need that. You have to talk about that. <laughs> and Harry Potter. Oh, you definitely got to be a Harry Potter fan. Because that's my cutoff right there. And if you that's ain't fun with Harry Potter, I'm chopped off. So we can do that again. Come on. It's so beautiful women out here who love Harry Potter. Don't give me they wrong. They know who they is. Don't get me wrong. I like Harry Potter, but I've never been like following up with Harry Potter that intense. I got like, you. Read the books and all that. So well, you I, like reading books and everything? Yeah, well I started out when I was in fourth grade on some nerdy stuff. I was a gifted. So in that gifted class we had to be Harry Potter on our books. And ever since then, you like I read locking. Yeah, because I read like four books before they started making the movies. So then once oh. they made the movies, they gave me everything <laughs> I needed. That's like people who like Game of Thrones and mm-hmm. you know all these type of shows like that. You I grew up with that. So it's like, yeah. So now when I go to Universal, like I'm a kid. Like, we were just at Harley and her nights. And I was like jumping around, you know, I took pictures and all that, like, it's, it's lit. I gotta go back. So you gotta make sure you like Harry Potter. Or, or, or at least tolerate it, you know. Be, be willing to, you know, come and enjoy that. With you, you know, understand. enjoy that. Okay, okay, okay. That's my love language. That's what y'all call me, right? Your love language is Harry Potter? No, I'm saying like, just doing that type of stuff. Doing stuff I like to do with me. That okay, but you were compromising with some stuff she wanted to do. Yeah, right? I'm a compromising man. Okay, okay. You like anime? Uh, that's cool or whatever. Okay. Dragon Ball Z, that's one of them. But you'll watch that. Yeah. They are very good. Because I know a lot of girls these days are into that. So. I, I feel like they in it because it's cool. Like they into it now because it's cool. Like everybody watched them because somebody said, oh, somebody go said watch somebody. this on YouTube or go watch this on. I don't think people are genuine. Into man. it. Yeah, like how I did. So that's why I say, it's cool. Like I'm not a, like, I'm not a person like, oh, I need to go watch. They're doing one right now. <laughs> uh, but I watch Dragon Ball Z when they come on like late night or something. Alright, well make sure you guys that's watching right now, let us know your um, social media platform so the Harry Potter fans can get your views. Uh, <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah, uh, y'all can follow me on Twitter at CTA underscore CEO and on um, Instagram, Thad Two Blue. Okay, and Whitney, at the moment, what is your relationship status? I'm taking it, so. Yeah, let's go. Like that. Black love. Very early. Because I'm waiting for it. <laughs> so at the moment, how long have you and your significant other, who is extremely sweet, been together? I'm saying you know this. Yeah, I know that. I would say a little bit over, yeah, at this point, a little bit over a year, so. Okay, okay, okay. That's the time, right? That's a long time, 2019. Yes. So at the moment, either y'all, do y'all see y'all get married? Oh, you said, I thought you said, <laughs> oh, no. I said, I said, I said, I said, I the idea of marriage is cool, but it's a business, a business view to me, so it gotta make sense. Like yes, every, it is a business. If everything else, if everything lines up and I love you, then of course I'll get married. Like my mom and dad is married, they've been married for like 20 years, like I want that too at some point. Mm-hmm. But yeah, so it just got everything got to line up, like you gotta be on point. Mentally, financially, everything got to be on point. Everything got to be on positive, everything like that. And yeah, I get married. I don't know when. I don't, I don't know like 35 and we'll be married or nothing like that. But yeah, that's a, something I, I want to do. That kind of brings us to the topic for tonight. You don't talk about so much other stuff. Um, I don't know. Just really quick, what, what was y'all longest relationship like in general? The longest relationship you ever been in? Uh, six. six. Six 
Because me, I'm, I'm quick to cut somebody off. It's like, I don't got time. I only have two real, I'm I only had two real relationships. So. Same. Yeah, I only had what is everything like before high school on count. So I had two since high school. So. Well, mine's kind of well, sprinkled on six. from high school. Well, almost like three on six. But you kind of said you was just dating my high school on count. Yeah, like boyfriend girlfriend, that shit was real. That shit was. I feel like you had no middle school, school wouldn't count, but high school would count. Nah, like looking, like, like, looking back on it, yeah, looking back on it, I know my shit. Like, that shit was that shit. Was that. You know, well, the reason why I asked about your long relationship because that kind of brought me to what we talking about. What do you guys feel like is the hardest thing when dating someone and it's time for the relationship to end? Letting go, moving on, or starting over. I feel like just the moving on part was hard for me. Everything else is easy. Once you move on, then starting over. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna happen. But once you move on, it's like, okay, now it's good. Who are you? Let's move around. Or I'm ready to invite whoever, like, if somebody was, you know, shooting their shot. Now I'm open to. You know, now you open to get them a chance. Yeah. Because I mean, you don't want to kill nobody at this age. But I might. People are crazy. And people are crazy. I've just seen the man on, the, on Twitter shooting inside. Yeah, and they they I don't want, if, if your sex is that good, Harry Potter fans, That's stay crazy. with you. I don't want you your sex. You know what's crazy? I'm going to be wild right now. If you're not crazy about me, I don't want you. Now, I don't want you, now, that, I don't want you knocking my windows out of the way that they Man, he was shooting a shotgun and stuff. Well, if you want to sit outside the house and once or twice, only knowing you, See, I need you to find a way to get in contact with me when I block you. Man, we too old for that. <laughs> I understand though, like I might do it. Come to me. I might do it. Too old for that. Like if I like your number, I ain't gonna just, you know, I'm gonna send an email to our shots and email it to them. Email, yes, Cash. Uh, <laughs> if my nigga don't email me, it's an issue. Hey man, I gotta find a way. You ain't testing back. You ain't going to the end. I can pull up. Even, even if I don't come outside, pull up. I, I know you're out there. Okay. Well, let's rewind. Rewind. Yeah, rewind. Get back to you. So Whitney, let us know. So none of it's an issue for me, because okay. at the end of the day, I'm a catch. Ooh, so man. therefore. He gonna feel all that. Yeah, he like, gonna, first nigga tried it. <laughs> Tell you one, no chances one time, so you won and done. Period. Don't Those be the big cry babies. <laughs> Trying to do and it's like all that me playing cat and mouse with you or trying to play mind games with you? No. I think I think 
So it's, it was, yeah, it was. It, it is was, a game, like, like I said, like you said, you know, they like, all right, do this. I'm gonna see how far I can get away. Yeah. Let you me know, post this right quick on Twitter and see if I'm gonna call. Well, let me do this. Like, or oh, let me do this. Or, or let yeah. me, or let me say. Let me, for, yeah, let me not let answer me, the phone for yeah. a couple days. I'm at the crib chilling, but let me play like I ain't at the crib. Let me don't text them when I got home. Yeah. Even knowing I'm, but it's like people really do play games with each other like that. And I was so naive and blind to that until I got a little bit older because I really thought. I thought it was funny. I thought relationships were like a fairy tale. I thought how it was on TV. Like, we friends, we skip, we go to the mall together, we go to family events together, we friends first. Until I got older and I realized, like, yeah, that is your friend in the beginning, first and foremost, but it is going to be games played amongst both. It's not even like men just playing games with you because females, we play games too. Because I know I do. I do stuff sometimes just to not necessarily see the type of person that you are. But just to see how you react to some of the situations, because if we together, not trying to be funny, if something happened to me, who I'm going to come at the first quarter with? You. So it's like, just to see how you're going to react to things, just to see if you're really going to be there for me. Not necessarily saying you got to be my pocketbook, or you got to be the check cutter, because that's not the case. I'll take care of myself. But it's just like, to know I have somebody that's really going to be there for me. Like, I take my show very seriously. So if I'm dating somebody that's not that supportive of it, because sometimes you can date people, and they like the fact that you got stuff going on, but they don't know how to be supportive of it. Yeah. And it's like, they'll see like, cause I realized everybody, just how you said love language, everybody love language is different. And that don't mean a person I necessarily supportive of you cause they ain't posting your stuff or they ain't coming to stuff. But some people really don't know how to be supportive. Some people feel like, oh, let me get her money to do this. Or let me just text her this. And some people really could be rooting for you and they don't say nothing at all. And it's like, I really, you know, I don't, I sometimes feel like I don't have time to be doing all this, re pressing the reset button, like, telling you what I like and what I don't like, and getting you out of that mindset of what the person you they told me got you to do, right. that's aggravating sometimes. But that's how life works, so that's my issue. I feel that. Uh, just to piggyback on what you just said about the, like, the supportive part with your business, that's like the main thing for me. Um, I feel like you gotta have a lot of dreams, have a lot of, you know, things that I might say, like just come, first thing that come to my mind might be an idea. It might be some wild, like something wild. But I usually be like, yeah, that, let's just fix it though. This don't sound like, you know, that sound don't sound good. That part don't sound good. But I like what you're doing, like just being there to bounce ideas. Like you gotta just, just be supportive. Like, I tell you something like, oh yeah. I don't know how we're gonna make it happen, but we're gonna figure it out. That's all I'm going to, yeah, I'm gonna figure it out. But just being there, like, oh yeah, or even coming to the events, like my relationship, she she definitely was supportive of every event, you know, helping out, you know, doing what she had to. So like, I would say, like you say, don't bring up old stuff. Like that's something I feel like that needs to continue. Like that was a, a part of like I said. No, but that's yeah. Of, like you know, I need that. Like to be there. Like even if you sit in the stands and look pretty and have your makeup on, I ain't tripping. Long as you do that and. You know, I know I can look up, come sit to you, can talk to you, give me a kiss. But yeah, I'm tired, baby. They working you hard like a slave, but I'll be back. Go back out there, go politics, whatever. But yeah, definitely need that that support system, you know, even from family and friends, but definitely from your significant other, other because that's an extension of, you know, your family and friends at the end of the day. And um, one thing to say that I didn't say earlier, and I don't want to know why it's just in my, like, credit. So um, when I was playing around with the bacon at the beginning, um, my boyfriend was actually the one who was like, you know, you need to do this, you need to do that, you need to try this. I'm just like, you're not cooking it, like, please stop bugging me. And then he was just like, why are you not doing it? Like, you know, pressing me. So at that point, I'm like, okay, okay, let me just try so I can shut him up and then, you know, we can go from there. So I feel like it was a big push in me doing it because me, I'm just like, you know, I love a job. I don't want to feel like doing it. This is just like a lot of work. Yeah, but like, you need that. Like, you need water. I do that with, yeah. I do that with friends. Like, even girls who like I probably try to talk to and have a conversation with like just take on dates and stuff. Like they be like, oh I like to do this. You know you can turn that to something. Like even if like you good at it, like I see you good at it, like I see you know how to draw. Yeah, keep drawing. Like I might tell you, hey draw draw this logo for me or do like like draw this something for me. Like a female, she was about to she was with my friend, she said she know how to draw. I was like, yo, draw this logo for me. And she drew it and I like, put it on the shirt. So, really? Yeah, I forgot which one. But you know, shout out to her. Like, like I read, like, I tell people, like, I know, like, my friend's brother, he know how to draw. Hey, draw this one. Like, I'm always like, you know how to do something. Like, I want to give you the opportunity, like, to you know, perfect it. And then, you know, if I like it, I use it. You gonna get full credit. Like, I'm lying yeah. telling people, like, 
Yeah. Like, even, even with Turkey Bowl, uh, to go back to that, like with Five did Summer Rim, that was, she started the same year in the summer. When she did Summer Rim, I was like, oh yeah, I get to do Turkey Bowl. Like, it's two different concepts, but you know, just the, like, the old you did in the event, like, that was big, it was major. Like, for the first one, so I was like, oh yeah, I'm doing Turkey Bowl. Like, nah, like, I got a little class, I see how everything, I, would, I didn't even go to the first one. Like, I was standing in Jackson at the time. But, like, I seen videos and pictures, I was like, oh yeah, it's great. I see, I, it can be done. So that's all you got. Once you see something can be done, you get the motivation you know, to keep going. Yeah, and, I'm, and I, I really like what you said about um, if you know someone that wants to do something, because I'm really big on that. Like, I'll call my friends, or you don't even got to be my friend. Like, if I don't been around you in some type of vicinity, I'll call you first to do something before I reach out to somebody else. Because it's like, you scratch my back, I'm going to scratch yours. I just really feel like what you put out in this world is what you get back. So it's like, you helping people around you in the smallest ways. You will always be blessed like that versus reaching out to people who won't even call you to do something. Like people be so hyped and look at who's popular and they don't even realize they friend could be the next biggest thing. But it's like they downplaying their friend because what they have going on is not as big. They don't benefit. And it's like it don't and I, I I'm really against that. I don't care who you are, I don't care if I saw you one or two times and I know you got something going on and I need a backup for this or that. I'm gonna call you first before I go and reach out to somebody else because it's like those people, they don't care about you. They're they gonna take your money, go about your business. You gotta take care of home team first. And I'm real big on that. Like, even if we ain't the best of friends, if I know that you got something going on, like, I'm really, really big on trying my best to support people. Like, even if I can't be at every little thing, like, I'm gonna buy this, buy that, but I gotta buy a pen. It's just little stuff like that goes a long way. And sometimes people don't have that support in their circle that's really, really there for them, that's pushing them to do certain stuff. And just how you said, like, the people that you date, that's something that I really, is it right now, Yeah. That's something I really noticed as well um, that stands out to me. Because my family is extremely supportive. So it's like, if the person I'm dating not supportive, then it's not going to work. Because it's like, I'm going to always support you. I don't care if you sell an order. I'm going to be right there. I don't care what it is. Even I'm able to help. Even if you want a regular life, like, you want to go to work every day, 9 to 5, I'm going to support that, but yeah, buy some stock. So, uh, you know, let's, let's do this, let's do that. There's no other ways you can, you know, you know, I want to say be different. I don't say be different, but there's other things you can do besides starting a business or starting a brand. Or trying to, yeah, or trying to be creative, because everybody are not, are not creative. Right. So, you know, there's other things you can do, like start a nonprofit, like do stuff like that, like, you know, the business side, like the non creative side, finance, or, you know, just find your own lane and, you know, sticking to it, like, is a other hobbies people knit and sew and make money and they, you know, and that's their hobby. So why not you know, listen to us and be regular? I, I love really, it. I really, really agree. And um, I don't know, just I don't know for anybody. I guess that's out there that's like feel like they stuck in a situation. I know a lot of people that be like that. They feel like they stuck in relationships based on things that I have said or just stuff that y'all have said as well. But I know people personally that's like they're like stuck in situations because they don't want to start over or they so stuck on the time or like, or people feel like after a certain point, oh, y'all might as well get married. That's not true. Like don't, don't believe that because just how you can meet somebody today, you can meet somebody tomorrow who have way better intentions for you. It's this lady that's in one of my classes and she was just saying the other day, she was with her high school sweetheart for 14 years and they got a divorce. And she met the man that she with now. No, she was with her high school sweetheart since high school. So they were together for 13 years. They was only married for two years. And then she met this other man and they were on a date for three months and they've been married for 10 years. So it's like, it just shows you like, time don't mean nothing. Like, just cause you knew somebody for so long, I've been with them since high school and that's, that don't even matter yeah. because we don't grow, we develop into new people all the time. So don't yeah. use, don't, you know, don't use that as a way to stick around. Like oh yeah, yeah. we had that time together. Even if oh yeah, because y'all can be two different people throughout that time and grew apart. Even if you don't even know you grew apart from that person just by mm-hmm. things you are interested in now and you know just the communication. Or that. So yeah, don't use that. All the stuff. You, I remember that first date. It was so young. You know, <laughs> Um, so I was going to say not on the relationship aspect or the business aspect or just creative things that you like to do. Um, don't rush yourself because you see other people doing so well and what they're doing. Um, always take your time and go at your pace when you want to do something. And I can say that for myself, like 
you know, I know a lot of people that bake. I know a lot of people that make treats. Um, but I was just like, you know, it could be more than one person. And I'm going to take my time. I'm going to get there one day. But take your time always. Be true to yourself. Oh, no, definitely. Not to the internet. Uh, whatever you do, don't, don't rush. Like, your next thing you're doing, don't rush it. Like, take your time. Don't let people rush you. And I always that like I always tell myself like my thing when I tell myself every day when I feel like I get you know everybody had that down moment but you feel like oh yeah what's going on I don't know what to do next uh, I just tell myself it took Ross like ten years to get to what to get to hustling and it took my favorite rapper currency probably like ten to twelve years to get to what he had now like when he first started rapping he wasn't even wearing jewelry now he making so much money he have to like you know when you buy jewelry you can um, do it on your LLC. And he can be taxed right off. So all his jury say like jet life and stuff, but he now he has to buy jury and things of that nature because you know you're making so much money, you gotta find other ways to save it. That's another conversation for another time, another day. But yeah, that's definitely uh be, don't rush yourself and you know take your time because your, your woman not not beating right now. Bow Wow was popping when he was nine. We don't really care for that boy right now. <laughs> <laughs> he got money still though, but you know, yeah. show. <laughs> you do the show. No. Really, really true because I tell people all the time, Lord knows I went through my show on garbage about 10 times. And I would tell anybody that I would like, I'm never ashamed to tell people, like, we, you know, we done sat up at night and I told her plenty of times I ain't doing this no more. I don't tell stories. I don't tell, I would tell anybody just my journey and things that I don't went through. Some of the most popular people ever, I don't encounter them and they done kind of like been, gave me the backhand. Some people have been supportive, but it's like, Sometimes people see stuff in you that you don't see in yourself and they're not going to lie to you like you expect them to. Or sometimes things are not going to go the way you want to go, but I don't mean to stop doing it because it takes a hundred tries to sometimes be that one perfect time and be like, all right, I finally did it. And I know that you're not. Mm -hmm. And when you do that one time, they got multiplied and add to it one time. Well, just you guys know, um, don't forget next Saturday. The Turkey Bowl event. It's Turkey Bowl weekend. Oh, Turkey Friday, Bowl weekend. Friday, Saturday. We got two days. Come out. PSA. Um, that's on Friday, the media day. Uh, we have teams out there. We'll have time for the corn, sweet menus. Oh, I love that corn. Lay on the plate. We'll have chicks and eat your drinks. Um, yeah, just come out there. We're going to have uh, Instagram open the store. So come buy some merch from PSA. Support my boy Nut. Um, then we're gonna have Turkey Bowl Saturday at Iowa State Park, 12 to 6, November 23rd. Um, we're gonna have Keeping It, keep it Sweet, right? I ain't gonna mess it up. Keeping yeah. It Sweet, yeah. LLC. Uh, we're gonna have out there, we're gonna have France, Chef Francis with Comfritters. Uh, sweet Minnie's gonna be out there. Um, DJ Ross DJing, we're gonna have Bounce Houses, uh, the Girls Challenge, the Flat Football Tournament, uh, the Pro Bowl Challenge for the Kids. Yeah, it's gonna be a good time, man. We're gonna just for the community. Uh, from all over, we're not biased. You don't have to be just from Dade County. You can ride with it out of town. If you're in town, come out, you know, show love, um, buy some food, you know, get some treats, buy some merch, conversate, network. You know, that's what it's all for, man. It's everything in one. Just a big melting pot for the black people. That's all. Like while they say I'm supporting everything that's black, so if it's black, it's me. Same. I support everything black, anything black. Unapologetically, too. Same. Um, and don't forget to catch me next week, Saturday. I'll be at Turkey Bowl, and I'll also be at Marcy's Pop Up Shop. Um, I'll be posting all the details on my page, so make sure you keep up with me at Keeping It Sweet. Um, no G at the end of Keeping. Um, yeah, I hope to see y'all soon. Yeah. Don't forget to enter the raffles. Definitely. It's and order for Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Uh, oh yeah. Follow us at Turkey Bowl Extra. Again, that's our Instagram page. We post all the information, uh, recap videos, everything will be on there. Um, yeah, that's all I understand. I had something else, but you know, when I'm <laughs> so not. full of life. <laughs> like, uh, but, um, and just as we wrap things up, if you guys agree, disagree with anything, make sure you hit me up at topicq at gmail.com. Don't forget the topic for tonight was which one do you feel is harder? Letting go moving on or starting over. And make sure you tune in every Sunday at 7.30 p.m. Um, I will, it's on Anchor, it's on Apple Podcasts. I am no longer on SoundCloud. If you want to listen to the old episodes on SoundCloud, the new ones won't be on there. And that's about it, I have
anything else y'all want to throw in? Um, make sure you come out to our, I have a location on my Instagram and everything. But make sure you support us through Art Basel, Coral Studios, Um Bro, Blue Chip Collection. Uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, oh, yeah. Make sure y'all go download Who Me Wants by T.I. Trees. Um, I will come soon. Yeah, it's lit. There's a lot going on. Right. Oh, I want to pick, I want oh, to pick up oh, wait, look, we have the trophy. I don't want to pick it up like his eyes yet, because we are going to win, but it's the trophy for this shit. Uh, Let me see. It's heavy. It's kind of, they got a little oh. weight to it. <laughs> this girl's like, 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 like 10 pounds. Man. I could be the one to present the trophy. Like, we could. I come out there. We got numbers too. Oh, no, I want to present it. No, you can do it. I'm saying you can get the trophy. You gotta be, you gotta come like, like Kiki, what's the lady name at the Apollo? Like, she's she gonna have to change her clothes, cause she gonna be playing. Oh, yes, oh, you I playing? Would be, I would you be, playing. No, no, I didn't say I'm playing. Email, email, lady, I didn't say I'm playing. Yeah. I will be at Turkey Bowl selling sweets for my dear boo, Wix. So I will be there. If you guys wanna see me, oh, she come. Working. Yeah, I'll be there working. Cause she can't just take off work. And just you gotta get a break though. It's a six hour shift. Yeah, I told you, you want Lexus to. You get a break, six hours. No, I'm being committed. I'm helping my friend. I'll okay. be there to help her. I got you. I got you. Oh, I need to rotate the so it's okay. <laughs> and you guys, make sure as well, because I almost forgot, December 8th, make sure you come out and support okay. Tierra's Plan for Literacy event. I will be a sponsor at the event. It will be very, very dope, very, very good vendors, artists there. You have any background information on that? Um, Yeah, it started probably like five years ago. Um, she does, you know, she does poetry, write books and everything of that nature. So, you know, she wanted to tap into the poetry for me for the poem designer. I think it happened around that time when she started, when she did Time for Literacy. Um, yeah, so she's been doing it for a couple of years now. Um, it's really for, it, it really for uh, literacy, so she's into books and kids reading. So, like, you bring books, you donate, you get a discount at the door if you bring books. Um, we go to my free library, um, so people can have uh, books in the community. Um, there's free books, like, so when books get donated to us, we can just go put them into the mailbox. They're like a mailbox, we just open it up, and it has all about type of books. They have one in front of the North Miami Library. Um, it's like, also a lot in Avatar Mall. Yeah, Street. see, yeah, see, there you go. So that's what, yeah, yeah, it's just all about, you know, reading and, um, you know, just doing things for the community, different things, you know, giving us, you know, platforms and, you know, venues and, you know, and things that come in and show up. Um, and all I want to say, too, is go Gators to both of us with the floor. If you're not a gator, you're a gator baby. Yeah, I want to check the phone. I don't know what that is. You black, have, I love black. I love black. I don't know. Colleges. You were doing good when you said you wanted to carry Steven. You thought you were foolish. I had to get. I love black schools. I was an honorary, an honorary graduate from FAM, but I didn't have friends that go to school. So sorry. So yeah, I'm honorary. I love black colleges. I went to Florida with one master. That's a black school, right? But you didn't go to the It's a deal. Uh, my sister went. My sister played out there for a couple semesters. It's okay. <laughs> we'll talk about that on a later date. That is that some people have made. Oh, please. But you guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, thank you for support. Please subscribe, share, all that good stuff. As you know, this will be my first ever episode on my YouTube link. So make sure you tune in for more. We have special surprises and giveaways coming up in the future. And thank you so, so much. Good night. Check out The Talk with Q each and every Sunday at 7.30 p.m. This podcast is super litty, super relatable. Catch up and don't miss out.